Hello again, Ian Stucky with Mastermind Games, back with more War Machine this time. More Tenebra, Newman of Macrogenesis. Moldy Skin, 09149. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be pronounced More Tenebra or More Tenebra, but she was once a founding member of the Convergence of Cirrus and wound up betraying them. Defecting to Crix and taking the first uh, functional soul vessel or clockwork vessel with her as a sort of prisoner. Yeah, this little bit. See, her mask is pretty much only the only skin she's showing on this version. So, Newman is a rank the Convergence has for high-ranking members that have to some great discovery. Uh, Stormy Gray 09088 and who no longer remember she obviously felt entitled to use the title herself or whatever Necrogenesis would end up being. being her own uh, path to immortality. Though she had that before by being effectively an iron witch, so... And her previous body had a lot of insectoid legs underneath a skirt. She is upgraded into this more uh, centipede-like construction. It looks to be a much heavier boiler in the back. And iron liches do possess boilers built in to power their uh, the mechanical aspects of their bodies, which are even more durable than solely undead bodies would. However, they are more vulnerable to a certain extent anyway to uh, attack. As the machinery creates uh, weaknesses that undead flesh doesn't have, but it's a trade-off of... <sighs> Lessened vulnerability for power, or increased vulnerability for increased power, something like that. Her claws have been upgraded, made much larger. Game wise, she's very specific, more caster. She's great against warjacks, but not really against anything else. Some of her best abilities. I'm switching to a larger brush now to get the bulk of the body. Seem very specific to taking out war jacks, including uh, I think it's salvage, but it allows her to regain health when she destroys an enemy construct. Might even specify war jack, but. She does have Field Marshal and grants this to her battle group. And again, it's kind of a very specific ability. That's great in the circumstances where you can use it, but somewhat lacking when you can't exploit it. So. Her bad, some bad things about her gameplay wise solely because of this. So. But then again, I play exclusively for fun, and I don't get to go to tournaments very often at all. I think I've only ever been to two local ones that I could participate in in my entire life. And. Some people are so focused on uh, the theory and the meta that they can ignore all other things that could be to their benefit. And you know what? I'm going to do a little more 
this. Get the uh, this plate on the front of the legs, which themselves had certain annoyances in prepping and painting, particularly about figuring out what order they uh, attached in. Okay, let that dry completely and then move on. Alright, next uniform gray. Oh, it would help if I had my palette. Oh boy, hang on. <sighs> well, this has been awkward already. So, uniform gray. Just getting the debris underneath her. This is actually what's anchoring her to the base, and there's a lot of gears and scrap under here. Probably from the victims. thing in the gray right now and pick out the scrap parts later. Alright, and now plate mail metal. Hmm. Gonna get some of the sharp pointy bits. Just getting the tips of these insect like legs here. The rest will be done in bronze. Okay, so these. change my mind about this these limbs here and that's okay that's gonna happen from time to time let's go ahead and get all of these Just my grip a little. And then moving on up the tips of her fingers. Think of these wicked talons.
and the larger claws, which are actually our main weapon. Well, though technically our spell casting would be our main weapon, even the buffs and debuffs, which are not directly damage dealing. that as it is now, so I need to let that dry completely, then I can pick out the last base coat and go on from there. Alright, last base coat, old bronze, 09197. Stopping up of the wrist, leaving the plate on the back of the hand in the gray. Why is this? I'll figure out why I keep whispering when I really don't need to. See the waist. I want this uh, cylindrical apparatus here, just then going just below the rib cage. the spine. And the smokestacks. So again, an iron lich's body does have to have a Supply of fuel and ventilation for exhaust gases. Although I've never seen any uh, specific statistics on load burn usage for an iron lich, doesn't mean it's not uh, possible. But there were low burn usages for war jacks, just stated for fun in the fiction when they were still doing that. With the Crix jacks having an entry for both coal and necrotite. And comparing usage from a general purpose and combat separately. So let's see here. I 
I'm being selective on what portions of these arms I'm touching up in the bronze. Because I only want to get the moving parts. rest being covered up by the armor. I think something like that will work for my purposes. apparatus on the side. And in between the joints of the uh, body here. This is another case where uh, doing a partial assembly would have maybe been advisable, but again, that's something that kind of drives me nuts. of it mostly up front, but still let's get it. Again, it took a lot of work to figure out exactly what set of legs was supposed to go where on the body. I had to go back to uh, this the, uh, gallery on Privateer's website many times to get it figured out.
notes up on the back here. Next, I'm going to get these uh, blade like protrusions here, as well as these other cylinders. Done kind of thin on paint, so let's get a little more out. It's got a little more to do. Uh, underbelly, for lack of a better word. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna let that dry now, and then when it does, I'll start shading. All right. Time to shade, matte black. Normally you'll need one part water to one part paint to thin it into a wash. But for black and other dark colors, you'll need two to three parts water to one part paint. Being careful not to hit any other colors. So I'll go one section at a time from top to bottom. Keeping the brush very, very wet during this. Funny angle, so it's jittering. Let's try moving my arm off of the humerus. Just letting it flow from the raised areas to the recesses. caution where it contacts other colors. This way and get the uh, sides first, and then go to the back. I just punched my camera. There are going to be ample lighting effects on her by the time I'm done, so that'll be a thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
comes here. Okay. I'm not going to let that dry before moving on. That's a start. All right. Next layer of shading. Aged pewter is 0996. nice and wet using a one-to-one -one ratio of paint to water on this Excuse me, one of these arms at a time nice and wet again. Try and take enough time that I don't miss anything. Next. It's a little tricky on the legs. I'm really gonna have to rely on gravity to help get the paint where I need to go. Which again makes legs something that a partial assembly before shading might have been advisable on. these legs first. Here. 
Okay. Let that dry, and then I think I can get the uh, last of the shade in one go. I'm lucky. Okay. I think I can get the last of the shade all at once now. Ghoul skin 09148. Just a tiny dot. It is the only exposed flesh uh, Mortenabra has here is on her mouth. Kind of a generic undead color, but it works. Black and steel 09205. Sure to get the inside of the claw as well. Get the lens on one side at a time here. Do not have the best grip on her right this minute. Stormy Gray 09088. Get the rubble on the base. Even if it gets into the uh, mechanical debris, that's fine. Size that they are grimy, dirty, and on the ground, having been trod underfoot. All right. Once that dries, I can start the lighting effects. All right. Prep work on some lighting effects. Matte white. Hmm. Some of this is still wet, but I think I can work with it. Thinning it out a little bit. I'm going to try to work from the bottom of the top. So I want these sort of divots here lit up. And I need to prep with white. The actual lighting stands out, thinning it out so that it flows into these crevices. Okay. Trick 
guess it's gonna be on her face. These thin slits inside of her head. I want this opening behind her head lit up as well. Okay, let's see here. Gotta be real careful with this to do it right. I'm using the uh, fingers of my off hand to brace the fingers of my dominant hand. Now let's see here. Just one second at a time. because my hands get kind of shaky right now. It's okay if this spills over a little because it'll come out when I highlight first off and second will help sell the illusion of this glowing. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, let's go to the back now. These vents here. And my computer's making horrible noises, which means something's going wrong. I need to keep focus on this. Okay, I think that's it. So once that dries completely, then I can actually add the color I want for the lighting effect. So back on that. Okay. Pale green zero nine zero one two. Now for a lighting effect, two to three parts water to one part paint. Excuse me. Hiccups there. Okay. 
key is for some of the light to be shown through in the end. And this is done with more highlighting. The highlighting will help to finish the look. Trying to get one area at a time. I might have missed these two when I did the uh, initial layer, but that's all right. That's okay. Let that dry completely before I highlight. But I can also prep the arc matte white again. So again, more machine wise and distinct front arc through which attacks are made, and you do get advantages for attacking models in the back. Since I'm using a bright color to delineate it, I'm gonna overextend first. The front arc is the first uh 180 degrees. Gotta be careful here. I've already nicked one of her legs, so it should come out though when I highlight. Let's just try to get some more over there. It should be alright. Okay. Let that dry completely all over. And I can start highlighting. All right, highlighting. So, Bloodless Skin 09150. And Ragged feathered brush, no water, straight paint only. Rub it out on a paper towel, it looks like there's nothing left. And a little lightly 
does the area to be affected. It's going to be real subtle here because there's not a whole lot for this to catch on her mouth. And next. Scorched metal zero nine one two five. We'll just plug it up. Oh, this mic. So clear it out with a paper clip. There we go. brush completely dry for this so I'm switching uh, frequently and I have plenty of them. So I do this on the gears and metal bits on the base give them a rusted look. Brass zero nine one nine eight. This will be a more significant one. Focusing on the most readily visible surfaces. Refresh the paint as needed. I'm just gonna start on the legs. Kind of work from the bottom up. there on the front. Okay. okay, I'm starting to drop frames. So I'm just going to finish this color and see if I can get my system working again. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to wrap up this color. And try to do some troubleshooting. I'm somewhat nervous about the uh, limbs here, but I think it's solid enough. All right, let's see if I can fix my computer.
Okay, let's try this again. Misty Gray 09090. Doing some of this uh, basing here in between the legs. Looks like I missed a gear, but that's a bit late at this point. Maybe I can use some of the scorched metal. It's still wet to uh, bring some of that out a little more. Misty Gray again, right there. And uh, Uniform Gray. Just need to find the right brush for the job. Over here, I consider one of the more important pieces to highlight properly. Last highlight, True Silver 09207.
Oh, great. And my computer's making bad noises already. Any raised areas as much as possible. All right, that's got it. So, uh, I think I need to touch up the side of the head here. I'll do that in a second. Pale green 09012. Flathead. Use round brushes for most of my work here. Just gonna go over the uh, arc. There's a hair in. I need to get out. And that'll get the faction specific color I want. I'm using the brush to push out that hair that keeps getting stuck in there. I don't know where it's coming from. Might be the brush, might be something else. Okay. I'm just going to take about the finest brush I've got. Slits there, okay. Let that dry completely, then I can touch up the arc and move on. All right, time to finish up the arc. Matte black. This is a self healing cutting mat Privateer puts out with uh, the markings for 30, 40, and 50 millimeter bases for the purposes of polishing up the front arcs. Taking a fine brush, I've already got more neighbors centered. I'm just gonna carefully carefully mark the edges. Set up with a little bit of green later, but might be alright. No, I think I'll be okay. Okay, so I'm picking up and polishing up the uh edges here the arc's gonna end okay 
and then going back to my flat head. Just backfill. Being careful where I, any part, careful around any part that comes close to the base or close to the edge of it. Okay. Once that dries completely, I can uh, put the basic material on there. Alright, time to base. So, a mixture of white glue and water. Official brush. <clears throat> that mixed up thoroughly. I'm going to take the solution, carefully paint around the base, which in this case, yeah. Base insert takes up a good chunk of it, so it's going to be pretty much just a narrow channel here. And unlike so many of the models I've done recently, I don't need to number this one because there's only one more neighbor I can take at one time. Just cleaning that brush out thoroughly. Uh, now, taking my mix of flock and a little bit of static grass all jumbled up. And give her a dip all around. Tapping off the excess. I'm taking a spare brush that's dry. I'm just gonna push this away from where I don't want it. It's not too bad. So I'm gonna let that uh, set for a while, at least 20 to 30 minutes, at least. I'll seal it and uh, wrap up. All right, I've given this about half an hour to set. So, scenic cement. This is a Wooden Scenics product. So, glass eyedropper because this stuff will bond to plastic very quickly. Carefully rip it into the flock, let it soak up. If you don't give it time to set for a while first, and this will make divots in your basing material. I want that. Clean up the dropper. And that wraps up Mortenabra and Newman of Necrogenesis. More crooks on the way. Until then. I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.